I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy, actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. Today's fun fact of the day has to do with Casual Fridays. Did you know that the origins of Casual Fridays started in Hawaii? There, they began a trend called Aloha Fridays. This was when you could wear a colorful Aloha shirt to work on a Friday. And these were those typical loose, colorful shirts worn in Hawaii. This was started in 1966 by the Aloha shirt companies to sell more of these kind of shirts. It was a marketing campaign and had nothing to do with being comfortable or anything of the sort. In the US, the movement soon picked up speed and Levi's took it forward. Yes, you guessed it, to sell more jeans. What's important is that the dress code affected how people worked. In some kinds of creative organizations, a casual dress code increased productivity. However, in a sales role, a stricter dress code was what worked. The debate is still open, so there is no clear winner here. Today, I want to talk about something that I noticed while I was stuck at home over the weekend. Because of coronavirus, many of our offices are asking people to work from home. Or people are locking themselves into their homes to prevent themselves from getting infected. On Saturday, I said I'm going to use this time and be ultra productive. I said the best thing about working from home is to stay in your pyjamas. So that's what I did. All I got done was wrote one podcast script. That's it. I didn't get around to exercising, which was on top of my priority list. I didn't read. I just lazed. I realized that what I was wearing just took over and did not feel like doing anything. The next day, I woke up and immediately changed out of my pyjamas, wore my workout clothes and then, as if by magic, my workout got done. I stayed in my workout clothes and did a second mini workout in the evening. It's amazing how the power of the mind is. The environment we create for it is how it grows and thrives, or withers and dies. One of my close family friends went through a similar phase. He sold his company for many millions of dollars, which was amazing, but as a result, had no office or place to be. Being at home drove him mad. It threw him in a tizzy for a year or two. Finally, he built an office at home. Every morning at 10 a.m., he would go and sit down at his desk, whether he had work to do or not. What was important about this new habit of his was that he would go there dressed completely as if he were ready for work, in a shirt and a pant. Within three years, he had created another company worth many millions of dollars. The point of the story is the importance of creating the right environment for our minds. Over the next few weeks, some of us are going to be stuck at home. What we do during this time is going to be so important. Will this strange time help us grow or destroy us? I know so many people who are going nuts with this forced home quarantine. As your habit coach, I want you to plan your day at home and then use the clothes you wear as a cue to create the activity you want to perform. Dress up in office clothes if you want to work in a focused manner. Wear gym clothes if you want to focus on exercise. Wear happy clothes when you're feeling low. So your super simple habit to get things done during your home quarantine is to dress for what you want to achieve. Just wear different clothes and watch the magic unfurl. Pyjamas do have a place in the day for when you want to rest and recover. So use them wisely. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag TheHabitCoach. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called A W E S O M E 180. That's Awesome 180. रिश्ते में तो हम तुम्हारे पॉडकास्ट लगते हैं. नाम है फुटबॉल शुटबॉल. Presenting Football Shootball. 
a show about three friends discussing our favorite game over a beer. Sometimes three, maybe even five. Hi, I'm Shiva, and with me are my two sidekicks, Kaurav Sapre and Karthik Ayer. Sidekick? You mean like Batman's Robin or Van Persie Robin? No, I mean like Alexis Sanchez, but with a little more skill than just playing the piano. Ha! Just shows how the best players at Arsenal are mere bench warmers at United. Oh, thank you, Ayer, but you're a Fulham supporter, so whenever you say anything to support me, I question my beliefs. Just like how Griezmann would say. एक बार मैंने जो डिसीजन ले लिया तो मैं अपने आप की भी नहीं सुनता बैंटर असाइड वी विल टॉक मैच रिपोर्ट्स, ट्रांसफर रूमर्स टॉप कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज फैंटेसी फुटबॉल पिक्स एंड सो मच मोर सो ग्रैब अ बियर एंड ट्यून इन टू फुटबॉल शुटबॉल एवरी वेंसडे ऑन द आई वी एम पॉडकास्ट एप वेबसाइट और वेर एवर यू गेट योर पॉडकास्ट लुक अप इन इंटरनेट इट्स अम नो इट्स अ कैट वीडियो नो इट्स द गीक फ्रूट पॉडकास्ट That's right. We interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show, The Geek Fruit Podcast, where Tejas Dinkar and I, Jishnu, talk about everything in pop culture, including DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Netflix, and everything in between. You know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap, and you just want somebody to listen to you. Well, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that. But come listen to us ramble, and it'll almost be like the real thing, kind of. Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts, the IVM app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Happy listening, you nerds.